Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Life Afloat. Today I'm doing, uh, it might be a long video, just a quick video to show you how I get a very good TV reception on board my narrowboat. Um, if you're on a bit of a budget and you want decent reception uh, for your TV on your boat or caravan or wherever you might be, then this setup could work pretty well for you. There's no need to spend hundreds of pounds on different aerials and satellite dishes and all sorts of things that, that you see on some boats so what i'm going to do is show you the channels that i'm getting on the tv so you can see how many i, I get uh, and then i'll show you the aerial that i'm using and how it's all all connected so stick around and you'll find out how you too could get decent tv reception on a budget so you can see the tv is on here if I press the uh, list button then it's going to show you all the uh, channels that I get. TV is a bit slow unfortunately but it does the job. Uh, so if I scroll right down through all the channels hopefully well they're all different numbers. When I tuned it in it said it had 132 programs and 36 radio stations I think it was which isn't bad but as you can see they're all there Oops. Now, a bit of bargain hunt loose women if that's your thing whatever anyway so you can see there I'm getting quite a lot of uh, channels so uh, what I'll do is take you outside show the aerial and how I've got that connected to the, the TV. It's a very cheap aerial. It was £12, I think, from Amazon. Um, so nice and cheap. No need to spend 100 of quid on these fancy moon rakers or whatever they're called. So the aerial that I use is this here. It's got a magnetic base. And at the moment, as you can see, it's on the side of the boat. Seems to do better on the side as opposed to on the on the roof. Um, I don't know if it's got something to do with the angle that it's at, but it's supposed to be omnidirectional, which means it picks up signal from all air, all uh, angles, but apparently not. It's better on the side. Um, the cable just comes in, goes down there, and into the boat here. Um, I've siliconed all around there to seal that off. And it comes out into the cabinet underneath the uh, the TV which I'll show you just shut the door get the cold out so it comes in uh, through here and goes into this which is an aerial booster this was uh, about 10 pounds it's a really cheap aerial booster but it does a fantastic job um, and only uses about 5 watts of power I think it is um, so I've got that plugged in and then I have an aerial cable coming out the booster, going up through a little hole in the top of the cupboard that I made, and then it goes up through this conduit. I'll pull that out, it comes out there and into the back of the TV. Obviously all the, the power cables and the cable for the DVD player goes through there as well and into the uh, necessary bits down below. Yeah, I've got, obviously, as I said, the DVD players in here and I've got this little games console thing for the kids when they come over. Um, but it's all kept quite sort of tidy and out of the way in, in the top of this cupboard. Got the plugs in there as well. So this cupboard was built around the uh, sockets. So they're all hidden. So that is it. Um, that's what I've got. It cost me about 20 four twenty five quid something like that in total to get the aerial and the um, booster and I've never had less than 90 channels wherever I've gone and I've got in you know rural areas away from everything and I've been in uh, Milton Keynes Marina which is surrounded by flats um, and I've had really good signal there as well so can't fault it really if you're interested in the aerial I'll stick a link in the description below the booster, I think I got from B&Q. Um, anyway, I don't have a link for that, um, but I'll try and find the uh, the aerial 
um, and I'll, I'll stick that in the description below but it's really good value so if you're on a bit of a budget but you want good TV reception on your boat that's a setup that I would recommend from my experience so that's it really thank you very much for watching please rate comment subscribe all of that stuff um, and I'll see you in the next one cheers